open, but we've done so with the understanding that social distancing guidelines would be followed. So don't use them as de destination recreation. Don't get in your car and drive to one of our waterfront parks when you can walk, jog, or bike in your own neighborhood or a park that's close to your home. Also of note, beginning today, in-person city services are suspended at the Municipal Services Center and at the Sanitation, Administrative, and Operations buildings. So during these closures, online and phone services will be available to serve your needs. We also want you to visit www.stpete.org backslash emergency and then click on the COVID-19 link for contact information for each of the other city departments that are operating solely online or via phone. Some of these departments include parking citation, codes compliance, housing, construction services and permitting and billing and collections, among others. Again, that's stpete.org backslash emergency for their info. This is the same website where you'll find rolling updates, including links to the county's Safer at Home order, my emergency declarations, and information on the newly enacted federal assistance programs, which I'm gonna to talk to you about in just a few minutes. <clears throat> now I'd like to talk about and touch on a few state issues. As a reminder, the city of St. Petersburg is not the jurisdiction in charge of public health, but we are working closely with the county and the state who do oversee public health. There is a Florida Department of Health call center for COVID-19 related questions, and it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Their phone number is 866-779-6121. Eight six six seven seven nine six one two one. It's my understanding that the governor has issued a stay-at-home order this morning for four counties in South Florida. He has said that such an action gets all four counties operating off the same sheet of music. But let me reiterate what I've been saying now for quite a while. We need 67 counties working off the same sheet of music. The short-term economic pain it will cause is worth the lives it will save and will actually help our economy recover more quickly in the long term. Now there are a lot of big business folks in Florida advising the governor or writing op-eds or pushing out their other information that puts their livelihood ahead of public health. Fortunately, we believe we can both protect our residents and work to get our economy back on track. And in St. Pete, we're doing just that. Last week, Deputy Mayor Tomlin and I spoke about our new Fighting Chance Fund for small business owners and their employees. And we are making progress on that initiative and expect to announce details about it this week. We fully recognize the road ahead will be a difficult one. But St. Pete emerged from the Great Recession and quickly outpaced our peers, thanks to the entrepreneurial spirit of our community and to effective policy making, and we'll do it again. <clears throat> Look folks, <clears throat> I know this is a tough time. Uh, there's a lot of information that's out there and a lot of it is quite scary, but if we come together as a community, if we work together, if we support each other, do little things, go online, don't order from Amazon, order from one of our local businesses. If you're gonna get something to eat, go to, go to one of our local businesses and do your takeout. A lot of little things that you can do to really help everybody get through this tough time together. And if we do it together, it'll prove what a great community we are. And we'll get through this. We'll get back to good, and in fact, we'll get back to being great, because that's who we are as a city. The sun will shine as bright as it ever has on our city, and my team and I will be working around the clock to ensure that you are a part of our resurgence. Now, let me conclude my comments by following up regarding some federal assistance that's available. And if you're a small business owner, this is really important that you pay attention. The CARES Act is now a law. And we thank Congress for putting aside partisanship and doing what's right for our country. Relief is coming. And as I mentioned before, there are frequently asked question documents at stpete.org backslash emergency. If you'd like to learn more, I've already had people calling me up asking me questions. It's a great resource to answer any question that you potentially might have of how your business potentially can, can benefit 
from the dollars that are being made available by the federal government. Please go to the site and check it out. We want you to get that assistance. We want your business to survive. We want you to be here when we are coming back onto the recovery portion of this. And we recognize, um, as I'm sure most members of Congress do, that it's not enough, but it should help. And we'd like to see further relief down the line, including direct aid to cities. Right now, the only cities eligible for direct aid are those with populations of 500,000 or more. And that means in Florida, only Jacksonville is eligible. We think that's wrong, so we're hoping that if there's another stimulus that's put out by the federal government, that they'll include smaller cities or medium-sized cities like us here in St. Petersburg. So that's it for now. I'm going to keep trying to keep you informed as best we can about anything that changes. Again, go to the city's website, stpete.org backslash emergency. There's all kinds of information. Make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom. You can get information about the Federal CARES Act uh, along with uh, some other information. Um, and right now, I'm going to answer some questions that have been submitted by our friends in the media. Our St. Pete Police Department em emergency ops spokesperson, Yolanda Fernandez, is going to be asking them. Uh, and again, thank you for, uh, for watching this. Yolanda? Mayor, first from Evan Axelbank at Box 13, he asks, how well did the county safer at home order work? You know, first off, I think one of the most important parts of the safer at home order was the name itself. Uh, safer at home, because that's the message I know that the county has wanted to get out there. It's the message that we have wanted to get out there. You are safer if you are staying at home. The less you have to go out, the better it is for you, it is for your family, and it is for our community. You know, overall, in St. Petersburg, we are pretty pleased with what we saw. There were some instances where, unfortunately, people weren't maintaining social distancing. Uh, and in those instances, we've had our folks from law enforcement that have stepped in and, and encouraged them to do that. Again, um, understand, if you go out and you push it, uh, we will cite you for a municipal ordinance violation. We don't want to do that, but uh, let's just keep following the rules, we'll, uh, and, and we'll, be, we'll be in good shape. How close are you to issuing an order in St. Petersburg? So it's, it's fluid. We're going to continue to watch and make sure that uh, the folks in our community are following the social distancing guidelines. As long as you are, we won't have to enter uh, any additional orders, but if you stop doing it, if you stop following the order that's in place uh, and aren't taking care of yourself, your family, and the community, then you'll give us no choice and we'll have to do it. But right now we're, we're, we're sitting back and we're going to continue to watch. Okay. This question is from Chip Osowski from WFLA. I know you're concerned with people still gathering in parks despite the county's order. Any talk about closing parks in the city? Yeah, I really don't want to close parks. And, and that was I, I, you know, why I wanted to include some of the comments I did in, in my comments to you today, folks. Look, we, we want people to be able to go outside. We want you to exercise. The sun is good for you. Exercise is good for you. Those are things that will help keep you healthy, both physically and mentally. Uh, but if you don't follow the social distancing rules, you may give me no choice. I don't want to get there. Hopefully between your following the rules and our police enforcement, we won't have to. Uh, but don't push it, folks. You know, this is, this is important for the whole community. Uh, let's all be one community. Let's all work together and not be selfish at this time. From Mark Schreiner at WUSF. It was reported last Friday the opening of the pier will go on as scheduled at the end of May. But with the president's latest order, is that plan changing in any way? And when do you think the decision to move it would be made by? So regarding the pier and the opening date we had set, we haven't canceled the opening date, but yet we also recognize that, as I've said over and over again, everything that's happening is fluid right now. And we are monitoring uh, what's happening in our community. We're monitoring what's happening in our county, our state, our nation. Uh, and uh, if, if it gets to that point where we need to cancel the, the opening date that we've set, we'll do that. We're just not prepared to do it yet. Uh, but again, everything is fluid and we'll continue to monitor. This question is from Margie Manning from Catalyst. Have you had any conversations with Governor DeSantis about a statewide safer at home order? So I've been pretty vocal uh, about the fact that I think we ought to have a statewide uniform policy. Uh, as I mentioned in my comments before, the governor talked about wanting to have, re have everybody on the same sheet of music. Well, the only way you do that 
is if you have everybody on the same sheet of music, not four counties, but all 67 in the state of Florida. Uh, to date, he has not done that. Um, you know, back when, when uh, Rick Scott was governor, he and I may not have gotten along or agreed on every issue that came before him and impacted us here in St. Petersburg. But the one thing that he always did is if there was an emergency that was facing us, if we had a hurricane bearing down on us, Governor Scott always picked up the phone and he always called me to say, Mayor, just wanted to let you know I'm here for you. Let me know what you need. I'm here for you. And I really appreciated the fact that he did that. To date, Governor DeSantis has not done that, and it's very disappointing. Um, I have had contact with his lieutenant governor, uh, and uh, that has been the only one in his office. I happened to serve with his lieutenant governor in the legislature when I served in the legislature. Uh, but no one from his office has, has reached out to our office whatsoever, which is uh, it's very disappointing. We have a couple of questions from residents. One question is, are there plans for Safety City Council to start meeting again, even if it's virtually? Yeah, we are working on the technology right now as we speak uh, in order to uh, be able to restart City Council meetings. Uh, once we feel that we have the technology uh, locked solid, uh, we're going to go ahead and schedule it. So stay tuned, folks. Uh, we will be scheduling council meetings virtually, uh, hopefully uh, in the very near future. And finally, as we work towards preparedness in a word, have you considered taking over the currently vacant Edward White Hospital and getting it ready? Yeah, we've, we've uh, looked at that facility, and uh, what we've been told is uh, that facility would not be an appropriate facility to be used for that purpose. What I am um, really encouraged by, and the fact that, and this, uh, and I mentioned this previously in another one of my uh, talks, what I love about St. Pete is how many businesses have stepped forward and reached out to the city and said, you know what, I've got a vacant warehouse or I have a vacant baseball stadium or whatever facility that they've got that they're not using and said, we want to donate it and let you all use it. If you need to set up temporary hospital facilities, you can use our facility. Uh, it's been really heartwarming how many businesses have reached out to us here in the city and offered their facility. Uh, again, as to Ed White, unfortunately, that facility just wouldn't be appropriate. So thank you all again so much. Be safe. Keep your faith up. Be, be patient. Uh, be kind. Be considerate. Uh, and uh, best of all, help make the sun shine on us here in St. Petersburg by following social distancing guidelines. Thanks so much, folks.